Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carrie, and this is the Paper Pave Path, where we talk about all things paperish, including books, planners, stickers, stationery supplies, and journaling. If these are some of your favorite things, like they are mine, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and become part of our community. So today we are going to be setting up another month in our financial planner. So without further ado, let's get started. We are going to be setting up February, although I am missing my quote of the month or my affirmation of the month, but I will put that in later. So I will be using a kit from Designing Lefta, Lifta. I'm still not sure how you say her, as well as these round stickers that I created myself. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to um, put the round stickers for my goals down first. It's a little off, but it'll be okay. So that is those three and then I believe I just used washi tape yes last time so I'm just gonna try to find so I'm just gonna go with this washi tape because it's thicker so and it's about the right color so I'm just gonna wide out these sections here And while these sections are broken up into different sections, I'm just going to leave them as a solid strip of washi tape because, yeah, it's just easier. So I'm also going to be using my stickers that I created, just some little script stickers. The first section is important. Remember? This middle section is goodbye and I laid these down really 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 crooked so I'm just gonna see that's better then to do and the last section is extra so the last section is where I keep track of any extra time my husband works so now that we have all of those stickers in place, um, we're just going to talk about goals. Our first goal is to put an extra 5,000 kroner into the emergency fund. So that's one. Um, our second goal is to pay off some debt. I'm just going to flip back to my January debt tracker. Um, our goal is to pay off complete, .no, which is $35.95.50. And our third financial is, um, our third financial goal is, I'm actually going to flip through. So our yearly goals, um, these are our yearly goals. So our third goal is to put, put 3 thousand kroner into savings so that is our third goal this month so these two are different the five thousand into the emergency fund and the three thousand in savings the emergency fund is the emergency fund and we want to bump that up to fifteen thousand this month or this year and the three thousand into savings is just extra savings yeah so that is that i currently don't have well i do have two things to buy Harry Potter book one 
in Harry Potter book two. Um, we need to try to get the snowmobile sold. And then for extra work hours, my husband worked January 26th and 27th, 2021 from 23 p.m. to 8 a.m. So that would be um, 18 hours. So that is that page all set up. I'm gonna have to come back and do this page once I have my print out. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this out and then I will add that in later. So next up we are going to be setting up um, my monthly spread. And like I said, we're using a design kit from Designing Le Leaf Da Lefta. I'll leave her shop down below. Um, and there is some that we have to cut and organize with it. The only thing is I cannot find my spatula to tool, so I'm gonna have to use um, scissors. So we'll see how this goes. So the first thing I have to do is um, I have to cut off the days of the week and I'm hoping I just cut in a somewhat straight line. So it's fairly straight, so that's good. Um, it is a little crooked, but it should be okay. And then I'm just going to turn my planner upside down because that's the easiest way to lay the stickers. And you can see it kind of covers up the days of the week, but that's okay. I'm going to trim a little more off of this. And I know I lost part of the Y for February, but that's okay. And then, um, so I'm just cutting little slits where the days of the week go because I will have to trim each of those up because they're a little too long. So then I'm just going to layer them up on top of the washi tape. This one's gonna go down a little farther. And I wonder if I can get this on. Nope. It's gonna stay there. So I'm actually in the process right now of creating my own budget kits to sell. Um, they will be printables. Um, there we go. And then the last one will be Thursday. But um, I'm working on those. I hope to have it out by um, March. So it just depends on how schoolwork goes so i'm just gonna flip it over and then i'm gonna do the same for this one because i have not been able to find a plum paper kit mostly it's all um erin condren and they're while they're pretty much the same size planner wise they are a little different when it comes to the header size and all i want to work on designing my own kits for this planner so I don't have to do all of this extra work to get it to fit right. So it's Friday. Shut it. So that is my headers done. So the next thing is I'm just gonna add these pink washi down at the bottom. And these I don't actually have to do anything with. They fit perfectly down here. So those are the thin washi in place. Next up, I'm going to do the sidebar. So that is there. And then I'm just going to add this little card down at the bottom. So that is all in. 
Next, I'm going to do my numbers. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna start putting in our bills and our paydays. Um, So my husband's old job, which is where he does extra hours, is changing their day of pay from the 28th to the 20th. So I'm going to mark the 20th as payday for that one. He will have, um, so, um, this is Easy Bank, which is our big loan. It is 3177 Kroner and 54 order on the 5th we pay rent which is 10,000 Kroner on the 10th we have Ulta Kroflog which is 559 on the 15th we have Lona Kossen, which is my husband's Lona Kossen payment. And that is 151 kroner. So then the other four stickers are our paydays. So this is my Lona Kossen payment because we normally get it either on the 12th or the 15th. And I'm thinking because the 12th is a Friday, we'll get it then. And then this would be Stendi. This is Barnard. Just twenty one oh eight, and then this one is Alta Commune. So that is all the bills I currently have. Um, there are some that are missing with these. So on the 20th, our cell phone bill is due. Uh, credit card is due here. So one call. Santander, and that should be everything that we have right now, all of our main expenses. So that is the month set up. We're just gonna flip over and um, we're going to set up my monthly check-in. Um, instead of using, no, we're just gonna use it. So I ordered extra thick washi like it did last month. Um, but I kind of ran out at the end, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. So I was thinking I was just gonna use washi tape, but I'm not. So I just have to go. So my questions for our monthly check-in are, what were our biggest wins for the month? Did we meet our budget? If not, why not? Did we achieve this month's goals? If not, why not? What is one thing we learned this month by tracking our expenses? What will we do this? We will do this in one month to improve. So that page is all set up. The next page is my bills page. Um, if you're new here, then you won't understand this. Um, here in Norway, we um, for every bill that we receive, we receive like a tracking code for it. Um, it's called a kid number and basically it just lets the bank know when you've paid that one into the uh, account so it's like a tracking code for bills and each bill has its own kid number and we have to keep track of those so even for regular expenses we have kid numbers so I always have a bills page where I write everything down so um, 
there are a few bills of course that don't have um kid numbers and one of those happens to be rent and sometimes i don't get um the kid numbers until very very late or like when the bill is almost due so some of them you will see that um that I don't actually write the kid number down right now. So that is all the bills I have currently and I just check them off when I'm done paying them and I don't really keep track of look um, I don't keep track of the dates here I just it's just a checklist for me to pay those bills. So that is our February setup for right now. Um, and I will be adding more as bills come in, like any irregular bills that have come up into this once they come in. But that is all for this time. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you next week.